Hey there guys and welcome to a brand new Let's Play series, Syrup and the Ultimate Sweet, aka Atelier Sweets, aka Densetsu no Syrup, aka Magical Candy Adventure, apparently. <laughs> this is a really random choice for me because I was honestly just looking around Ichio to see if there was anything that looked like it could potentially be my next series. And thankfully I did find one that looked, one, adorable. Two, uh, was part of the Yuri Game Jam 2015, so female-female relationships, positive for me. <laughs> and three, looks more or less complete and not just a demo. Uh, and apparently has a really cute soundtrack from the sounds of it as well, so lovely. Um, so I'm really looking forward to trying this out. I've played a little bit of the opening scene so far, and I'm... <laughs> I actually got one of the endings already. I might play that for you just real quick, just to show it to you up front. Um, but then after that, we'll, we'll, we'll play the game for serious and see what it has to offer. Apparently this game has something like 10 endings, and I'm really curious to see where it all goes. Alright, so let us start off the game. So this is a cute little visual novel. It takes place in the peaceful town of magic users where there is a shop that only sells ordinary, non-magical candies, Atelier Sweets. The owner is known as the Candy Alchemist, a firm believer in science as the superior art. Proud and stubborn, she continues to make magnificent candies in order to prove her case. But a magical surprise waits in her basement workshop. Hmm. Candy Alchemist. Hmm? What's this thing? Oh god. <laughs> uh, we found uh, something, that's for sure. We uh, certainly did find us some Sailor Moon style nudity. <laughs> Just short enough on details that it doesn't have to be censored. <laughs> oh jeez. Alright. Good morning! How are you today? Uh, fine. I am also fine! But still... Can you come down here, like, now? Uh, I would like it if you told me your name. I would tell you mine, but I was not given one. Well, that's kind and considerate of whoever created you. Syrup. So I guess this is the syrup of the title. Okay. Syrup. Pastille, hurry up! You are Syrup. It is very nice to meet you. I hope we can be friends. She seems very... <laughs> I don't I don't know if it's how, because of the way the dialogue is written or her character, but she seems a little stilted. I would guess it's her character because Syrup's dialogue seems pretty fluid so far. So <laughs> I, think, I think I'm going to make this candy girl uh, have that squeaky voice that you would expect, but also be a little bit formal and stilted with it. <laughs> Because she's just been born, apparently. Yeah, that's not happening. Pastille, get down here already! Syrup, it is very important that we get along. You stay away from me. I want you out of my lab right now. Oh, what is that you are holding? Uh, it does look like. It's candy. You are eating it? Yep, that's the whole point of candy, to get eaten. I see. Then, please eat me! Oh, shit. This is... This is the start of a bad porno. What? No, you weirdo! But you have to! It is my purpose as candy! Well... She does have a point. <laughs> you just defined that as candy's purpose. Um... <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do this first, just to get it out of the way. Just to show you. Just to satisfy your dirty, dirty curiosity, I'm sure. Hmm. Even if you are human-shaped and alive, you do look pretty delicious. Oh, uh, there's Pastille. I think... think Pastille is a guy, but I am not sure. Because all the characters on the title screen appear to be female. But one of the messages on the title screen refers to a he, so I'm guessing the he is Pastille. So... Do you need something, Sai? No, I changed my mind. Go back upstairs. Oh, we have a guest! Made of... candy. I'm not sharing, so don't even ask. 
Uh, okay. Just get back to work then. Good. Alright, candy girl. Time to see what you're made of. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, I'm kind of glad they've blacked this out so you can leave that to your imagination, maybe. Your insides are pretty realistic. It doesn't seem much like your organs actually function. You're 100% magic powered, aren't you? I do not know the details of my biology. Hmm. Does it hurt when I pull things out like this? No, I was not designed to feel pain. Do you know where the parts of your body came from? Because most of the candy looks like mine. Except it's covered in gross magic. Hey, who made you anyway? That is a secret! <laughs> oh, this is off to a wonderful start. We are cannibalizing a poor candy girl. <laughs> Sorry to intrude. I brought you two some drinks. What are you doing? Candy biopsy. Trying to figure out which part I want to eat first. How could you? Sigh, you can't just eat someone. She told me to. So if I told you to eat me, would you? That's different. No, it's not! Bestiel is probably right here. Hmm. <laughs> I kind of want to click OK, I see your point. I didn't click that last time. Um, maybe we can... Can we save here? Let's save here. And then maybe go back and do the other choice. After we eat her anyway. Because that's the kind of player I am, apparently. Listen, Pastille, I've got this walking amalgam of deliciousness all laid out, literally asking me to eat it, so I'm going to eat it. It doesn't matter what she's made of, I can't believe you just eat a person! Don't you have a heart? Do you want me to answer that? Sigh, I can't... I don't think I can deal with this. It's too much. You've already decided on this, haven't you? Fine, I didn't want to believe it, but you turned out to be a lost cause after all. Do whatever you want. I, I'm i leaving. Aww. Two days later. It really does take a while to eat a person's body weight in candy, huh? All of you taste so good. I should try to make another one of you for myself. Without magic, of course. I wonder if I could do it. Imagine how much I could sell something like that for, too. Syrup? Are we friends? Oh god, I wonder how much is left of her at this point. Huh? What do you care? You're just candy. Oh, I see. Speaking of friends, where the heck is Pastille? Some of his stuff is missing and he hasn't come in since... a couple days ago now? I can't believe he's throwing such a huge fit over this. That kid is so fired. Oh. Syrup continued to eat the candy girl until she was no more. Oh, poor sweet thing. <laughs> Literally sweet thing. After countless attempts to create another, she was forced to give up when her store was closed down due to declining sales. Pastille never returned. Canna- Candible and- <laughs> Oh, God. I didn't even realize it's, it's, it said candible and- <laughs> I thought it was just cannibal and when I read it the first time. <laughs> ah! <laughs> This game, you guys. I'm really looking forward to seeing where it, uh, where else it can take me if it provides me with a cannibal ending straight off the bat. I am the intrigue. Um, actually, can we go back to the load menu and load that other choice? Let's see. Let's see him see. Let's see what happens if we see his point. I get it. You're right. Even if she's made of candy, she's still a person. I won't eat her. I'm so glad you understand. Yay! I don't want to disappoint you, cute little pink-haired waitress boy. I'm so glad you understand. Oh, Master Pastille, why did you prevent me from fulfilling my destiny as candy? Master? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Please, just call me Pastille. Oh, something is up there. I love all these little sprites, by the way. They've got, like, a lot of different poses and expressions. Not just, like, changes in facial expression like you normally get from a visual novel. And this is made in, like, what? 
a month and a half, two months, however long the Yuri Game Jam was. That's really impressive, honestly. Anyway, let's get you closed up so Syrup can get back to her work. Lots of candy to make today, right? I wouldn't have to if we just harvested her organs. <laughs> Still. <laughs> I like what this adds to Syrup's personality. <laughs> That's not an option! Okay, look, I'm being nice enough not to eat her, but you know it's obvious where she came from, right? What are you talking about? Hello, obvious person who made this girl. It was that rotten witch! You forgot to lock the place up last night and she left this golem to a uh, spy on us or something. That's one theory, I suppose. I mean, she's really suspicious, right? Hey, Candy Girl, what are you here for? My main objective is to get along with Syrup. See? Definitely a spy. Since I can't eat her, I want her out of here. Sure, no problem. Come with me, Miss Candy Spy. Oh, I have been given a name! <laughs> Aw, they even changed it in the dialogue box. I, I hope that's not her actual real name. No, I was just... Whatever, let's go. A little while later. One more batch of these and... Shoot, I need more Tartrazine. Guess I'm taking a shopping break. Trying my best not to make her sound... Too much like Neptune from We Know the Devil, but my vocal range is a bit limited, so excuse me if some of my voices sound similar. Then every day after the cleaning's done, we take inventory. Running a store sounds like a lot of work. I have a newfound respect for you, Master Pestiel. What is this? What are you doing? Oh, Sai, I'm teaching her how to run the store. I am helping! No, 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 you no, no. You were supposed to make her leave, not reveal all our trade secrets. And why'd you dress her up like that? Would you rather she kept walking around naked? She needs a uniform if she's going to work here. She's not working here! I want to work for Syrup! Let's get along! Cut it out! What are you thinking, Bastille? What if she really was sent here as a spy so that witch can ruin us? It's like you're just handing her our business. We could really use the extra help. If she does turn out to be Butterscotch's spy, I'll take full responsibility. So, can we keep her, please? Magic candy golems aren't pets. I said no. I will work hard to earn my stay. I'm very skilled with menial tasks. It's true. She cleaned the whole place while you were down there making candy. Look around. It's spotless. Hmm, she did do a good job. It even looks brighter than usual. Oh, I do want to. I want to. I want to keep her. I do want to keep her. <laughs> I feel like I should. Okay, good. We can't. We can reverse like we do in Long Live the Queen. I'm gonna keep saving at choices, just so we can get the most out of this game. Um, there we go. So, all right, we'll keep her, and maybe if we want to, we can come back to this choice later. Fine, she can work for one day, but after that, I want her out. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Syrup! I will not disappoint you! Oh, she's so cute! She's already started taking inventory by herself? What a hard worker. What are you smiling about? She'll steal your job at this rate. Uh, slow down! Well, guess that's settled. I need to do some shopping. Ooh, fun little background. Wait! You waited! you. Yeah, yeah, so what do you want? Master Pastille said that he will handle the inventory taking. If you're running errands, I would like to help. Hmm. <laughs> should we be, like, super accepting at this point? Or should we, like, mix it up and, like, kind of be, I'm kind of intrigued by you, but I'm still kind of paranoid about you? Or, hmm. Well, she was enthusiastic enough to, like, literally start eating her. So, let's be a little bit more enthusiastic, maybe. Whatever floats your boat. Ah, fine, let's go. Huzzah! Marketplace. Oh, <laughs> I like the little silhouette designs there. So, what are we shopping for today, Syrup? Tartrazine. I have never heard of that. Does it make your candy tastier? It's food coloring. It doesn't taste like anything. Oh, I 
was hoping we might buy something to make me taste better. Why, so I'll want to eat you? Yes! <laughs> but you saw, we saw what happens when you get eat. You don't want that. You don't want that. Oh, poor little naive darling. Well, you're out of luck. No matter what you taste like, I'm not eating you. Syrup, you are a very stubborn person. Yep. Here we go, Tartrazine. Mission complete. Now you can make more inventory for me to take. Sure, just don't forget you're only staying for one day. That is fine with me. I will just have to become your friend before then. Oh, cat person. <laughs> Literally cat person. <laughs> oh, it's the candy alchemist, meow. Sarah, a kitty cat! Meow, where'd you get such an impressive golem? I thought you hated magic things, meow. What do you want? Gee, Whiskers, I'm not so rude as to decline greeting my master's rival when I see her. Salutations, Nya. Oh, how polite. Nice to meet you, kitty. The name's Toffee, Nya. And what do they call you, Miss Golem? I have not yet been given a name. Nya, how sad for you. But really, Candy Alchemist, I'm very surprised to see this Mio friend of yours. Oh god, cat puns. Cat puns! We are in for all the cat puns, aren't we? Oh! I do not think we have become friends yet, but I am working very hard at it! She doesn't look familiar to you? After all, it was your master who made her, right? Was it? I had no idea! <laughs> you aren't fooling anyone, Cat. That rotten witch is the only one who'd try to prank me like this. She made this golem to either spy on me or try to sabotage my business somehow. Sabotage your business? Master's your best customer, yeah? That doesn't make a lick of sense. I'm sure if she were here, she'd try to take responsibility for it, though. It takes some high-level magic to make a thing like that, yeah. Which brings us back to my first point. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it we were in for all the cat puns! <laughs> Why is the candy alchemist who's so outspokenly anti-magic Strolling around with such an unscientific creature, nya. I'll admit you do have a point, cat. You do have a point, cat, but she is too delicious to leave behind. Come on, we're getting out of here. Okay, goodbye, Toffee. Running away, nya. Oh, thanks for the interesting chat. Chat, ah, oh. <laughs> that's French for cat. The pair made their way home, and Syrup went straight back to work, making more delicious candies. In appreciation for the candy girl's enthusiasm and general willingness to be helpful, the candy alchemist decided to keep her as an assistant. And so the golem started living with Syrup and Pastille at Atelier Suites. She became a mascot figure for the shop, boosting sales instantly. Oh good! Gel, jelly, something, uh, no. You'll think of something. I have faith in you, Syrup. What's going on over here? I'm trying to come up with a name for her. You're naming her? What happened to Candy Golems Aren't Pets? Well, I can't just keep calling her Candy Weirdo. Well, I wish they'd put Candy Weirdo in the box again. Technically, you could. No, we really should give you a proper name. How about... Gumdrop? Gumdrop! It's a nice name! That's a super cute name. I like that. I think she likes it. Yes! I knew if it was Syrup, she would pick something good. Oh, who's these people? Hello, hello! The Chocolate Brothers are making their entrance. Yes, we've heard your shop has gotten a lot more interesting as of late, so we've decided to pop in uh, with our indeterminate accents. Hello! Welcome to Atelier Sweets! Oh, Candy Alchemist, you've got sugary golems for sale now? How charming! But if we're not mistaken, isn't magic necessary in their making? Unless you found a way to create life through your alchemy. She's our assistant, and I didn't make her. 
Oh, mysterious. I'm completely taken with her. May I offer you flowers, milady? Magic flowers? You are very good, sir. Can you not do that in here? I don't want your magic dust getting all over my goods. You haven't changed one bit, Candy Alchemist. Our apologies. Syrup, you should not boss around these kind, well-dressed customers. Are you sassing me? It's my store. I'll do what I want. Hmm, you should perhaps be interested in selling this one. She's quite adorable. <laughs> oh, do I want to be mean? I've been so enthusiastic about keeping her. <laughs> uh, let's save again. We still want, may want to go back to that other choice. Maybe later. <laughs> uh, for now, let's keep going on the keeping gumdrop path. <laughs> you can buy any other candy in here, but this one's mine. Syrup! I am delighted that you think of me as yours! Don't take it the wrong way. You just work for me. Your looks are good for business. Oh, what a shame. Golems are said to be such excellent servants. We've come to want one of our own. You two can do magic. Make one yourselves. Oh, no, no. It's a very high-level spell that requires a focused passion. Even our combined power couldn't result in anything close to that. I'm sure you could get it if you tried. Not that I know anything about magic. Well, well, we'll just have to give it a go sometime then, hmm? Now I suppose we should purchase something sweet and be on our way. Caramel sounds lovely, doesn't it, brother? We have that! Allow me to assist you at the register! She's so friendly, isn't she? I think she overdoes it. Whatever keeps customers happy, though. Hey, but still, is it true not just any old witch can make a golem? Huh? Uh, well, you don't see many walking around, so that sounds about right. Hmm. Penny for your thoughts? Just wondering what Butterscotch's actual skill level is when it comes to this kind of thing. Well, it's like you said, if Butterscotch didn't make her, then who did? She seems to listen to you. Do you know where I'm going with this? Uh, no. Ask her to tell you who her creator is. Since she won't tell me, you're my only hope, dude. Oh, I already asked when I was training her for work. No luck there, sorry. Ugh, I'll drag it out of her some way or another. Hopefully not like you dragged out her insides. Ah! To change the subject, I'm surprised to see you out of that basement during store hours. Was there any particular reason for that? Hmm. I assume this is probably for some kind of pastille ending. Uh, let's say supervising gumdrop since we seem to be heading in a very gumdrop-centric direction. Looking after our new assistant. Hey, Gumdrop! Do you need something, Syrup? Well, let's do something together. I want to work with you today. In that case, I am interested in learning about the process of candy making. Could you show me how it is done? So you can steal my recipes? Not at all! I only thought it would make a nice bonding experience, but if you do not wish to... Nah, I guess I don't mind. Just know I've got my eye on you. I'm definitely gonna find out what your deal is. Bonding with syrup! Huzzah! Right, well, you two have fun. Syrup's candy laboratory. I want a candy laboratory. Then, after you pour in the syrup, you let it boil for a while. The temperature is different depending on what kind of candy you're making. Syrup is the secret ingredient? How fun! There's no secret ingredients, it's just regular hard candy. It is still exciting. What comes next? Flavor. Then you pour it all out, add some citric acid and color, and make it into whatever shape you want before it cools and hardens. Rolling it around is kind of the fun part. Here, when this batch is ready, I'll give you some gloves so you can join in. Syrup! For these candies, I would like to use the color we bought together. Oh yeah? Yellow it is, then. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -da 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 -da. Does singing to the candy make it taste different? I will join you. La 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 la. No, singing has nothing to do with it. That's just kind of a habit I have since usually no one's down here with me. I think your candies appreciate it anyway. Ah, that's enough rolling. Let's wait for them to cool off. Should be ready now. Here, try it. Actually, wait. Would eating this make you a cannibal? Uh, we've already had... 
some amount of cannibalism in this game so far, so I would not be surprised. I was not made with the ability to taste things, so I will pass. Huh. So what other senses are you missing? Taste is related to smell, which I am also incapable of. You sound pretty cheery for someone missing out on some major sensory experiences, Gumdrop. It is not all bad. As I told you once before, I also do not feel pain. Hmm. Guess it's just a matter of perspective then, huh? So why'd you want to make candy with me if you can't enjoy any of it? Was it just a spy on me after all? I did enjoy it. I now have a better understanding of where I came from. Where you came from, huh? We can always ask whoever put you together. What's their name? I cannot tell you that. I am sorry. Ah, figures. We're done here. Give that tray of candies to Pastille. I'm going out for a while. Oh, syrup. Nope. <laughs> I'm guessing this is probably butterscotch. Bratty witch. Oop, she suddenly came out! Toffee, what do we do? To go Brooklyn for some reason? Okay, fine, I'll go with it. Butterscotch, cat, what are you doing creepily lurking outside my store? It really hurts my feelings when you don't remember my name, Nya. Don't dodge the question and don't try to run away. <laughs> I was running away! This is a public road, we'll be within our rights to loiter here. Oh god, this is probably the worst exit I've ever done, maybe. We came to see your golem, Nya. <clears throat> Toffee tells me she's doing so well in your hands. You know, the golem I so magnificently created. Yep, your little spy is a pretty diligent worker. Makes it worth keeping her around. I was just here to check in on her. That's right, see it for myself how diligent she's being at, um, spying up close. Unless you're gonna buy something, I don't want you in my store. I brought some dosh! I can buy you candy if it means I can check out your, uh, my golem. Whatever, as long as you two behave yourselves. Oh, it's the kitty cat from before! Who is your friend? This is my master, the great and powerful witch Butterscotch. Be grateful she is gracing you with her presence, nya. Oh, there she is! Such beautiful gummy skin! And oh, if I could just try to get a bite of that hair. You haven't already? That's odd, considering you claim that you made her. Uh, that's because I had to send her over in flawless condition. I showed a lot of restraint, you know, but it paid off. She's perfect. Now Master is at her limit. You should let her have a taste before she loses it, nya? Absolutely not. You can have any other candy in here except Gumdrop. How cruel! You just want to keep her all to yourself, don't you? I'll put up with it for now. Just don't forget who that golem actually belongs to. Me! Yeah, yeah, enough whining. Just buy something and get out. And don't get any of your gross magic or drool on my stock. My magic isn't gross, and you should take this drool as a compliment. Yeah. Come on, Toffee, let's blow this popsicle stand. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so sorry for this accent. <laughs> It's a, it's happening. This is happening. Next time those two come by, we should really just pretend we're closed. Syrup, do you dislike Miss Butterscotch? She's a witch. You dislike witches? Some more than others. Butterscotch is the worst, though. She thinks my alchemy has nothing on her magic, which is totally wrong, of course. Then why does she buy so much of your candy? Because no matter how hard she tries, her magical candies never taste as good as mine. She probably thinks if she eats enough of them, she'll absorb the knowledge. If she really thought her magic was better, I do not think she would support you by buying so many of your candies. You should be nicer to her. I'm guessing there's a butterscotch ending at some point. <laughs> Whether or not she means what she says, it's her attitude that drives me up the wall. I'm just not capable of being nice to someone like that. What do you care, anyway? I would like for Syrup to get along with everyone. Is that what your creator wants, too? For me to be friends with Butterscotch so she can get free candy from me? That is not the intention. So I don't give her such a hard time. She's working really hard for us. You are listening? 
Master Pastille, I do not think Syrup trusts in me. What should I do? Don't worry, Gumdrop. Once she sees you're a good person, I'm sure she'll come around. Right, Sai? We'll see. Okay, this is going on slightly longer than I would have thought, considering the length of the first ending. I might have to stop here. I, I need to check and see how long I've been recording for. Yeah, it's already been over half an hour, so I think we will leave it there for today. Comment below and let me know if you want to see more of this adorable little game. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye!